kindness is contagious. I'm going to tell you a little story about kindness. I believe in kindness. I advocate kindness. And I like to say kindness is my religion. Um, Neil Diamond has a song, I think it goes something like, um, uh, human kindness is overflowing and I think it's going to rain today. I love that song. I, I listen to it a lot. I love Neil Diamond. I listen to his music all the time. Well, anyway, I have a story to tell you. Yesterday, it was raining and human kindness was or did overflow and it came my direction. I decided to take my husband and I for a walk yesterday in um, a nature reserve, we call it uh, common in, and it's about eight miles from where I live now in England. But when I was a child, I used to go there all the time with my dad. And it has a lake and it's a natural reserve and there's ducks and there's wildlife and there's woods we can walk in. I loved it as a child. I, and as you all know, I love being outside. So it was a lovely, sunny day, cloudy and sunny. Um, and I convinced my husband that we need to go for a walk in these woods today. So we went out. I had a summer dress on, strappy summer dress on. He had his shorts and t-shirt. And we were having a nice casual stroll around the lake, sitting down, watching the ducks and the geese and the moorhens and really enjoying ourselves. And then there were little spots of rain. And I said to Roy, oh, don't worry, Roy, it'll be fine. It's not going to rain. Ah, so his famous last words. And so it started to rain a little bit more, a little bit more. So I said, oh, don't worry, Roy, let's walk with this way and we'll cut through the woods, just like we did when we were a child. My husband has really bad hips and yesterday was not a good day for him to walk. Sometimes he'll walk, but sometimes he has to sit down and rest and other days he's fine. And yesterday was just one of those days. So I said, don't worry, Roy, we'll get out of the rain, we'll walk through the woods here and we'll cut across the reserve and um, we'll get to the car easily and we won't be wet. And all the time in the back of my head, there was my dad's voice saying, Julie, don't get lost in the woods. Yeah, you can play in the woods, but don't get lost. Don't go too far away. Well, needless to say, the rain got heavier and heavier. Even in the woods, we were getting drenched because we didn't have any proper clothes. And so I'm convinced that I'm going the right direction. And what happens is... We come, finally come to a gate on the roadside, stand there in the pouring rain and realise we have absolutely no idea where we are. We're nowhere near the car park. And my phone, the Google Maps, was on it and it went out to charge. So we just stood there in the rain. For me, I was laughing, thinking, well, this is a great adventure. I love these things happening. But I was quite conscious of Paul Roy and his hips. And then suddenly out of the blue, a lady appears in the car. And she said, are you lost? Can I help you? I said, yes, please. We need to know how to get back to our car, which is uh, at the gate near this pub. She said, but that's about 10 minutes away in the car. <laughs> Are you getting wet? I said, oh, yes, it's having an adventure. My poor husband's not saying much. And she said, get in the car. Come and get in the car now. I will take you to your car. You you cannot walk that far. I said, but we haven't got masks on. We haven't, we, we, we haven't got anything with us for safety. She said, it looks to me like you're double vaccinated people. She said, I get tested every day. I think... I need to take you to your car and we won't worry about it. And she did. And it was about 10 minutes in the car. She was like a, an angel out of nowhere. So kind. She didn't have to do that. And she just was full with kindness. And I, I couldn't thank her enough. And she just said, no need to thank me. She said, I like to be kind. She said, that was being kind to you. You needed help. That's what we're all here for. 
and is true. The ripple effect of kindness is huge because I will pay that kindness back, obviously, to somebody else. And kindness made her feel like she'd done a good deed for the day. She kept saying, it's my good deed for the day. I always do something. I ask every morning when I get up, she says, I ask that I am able to help somebody each day. She said, and here you are. And I thought that was wonderful. The benefits of kindness are amazing. They make us feel better. And it is a ripple effect. Kindness is like a pebble that you throw into a pond. It creates waves and it lifts up other people and kindness spreads and is contagious. She was kind. I so appreciate it. I had fun. I was laughing. My husband and I were sat at home afterwards saying, oh my God, that was an adventure. He's just looking at me, shock heart, but I'm thinking it's an adventure. I'm reliving my childhood memories and hearing my dad saying, don't get lost in those woods. And I went and did exactly what he told me not to do 50 odd years ago. And I hope he was watching over me and seeing me have the fun that I always used to have in that place. Kindness is amazing. I recommend kindness. I advocate kindness. I always tell people, be kind. If you can't do anything else in your life, be kind. I'm going to talk more about kindness and probably have a kindness uh, campaign later in the year. So just watch out on my channel. But I wanted to share that story with you. Thank you for listening. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Have a kind day. Thank you.